welcome to Monday's edition of Reptile News. God, I'm just getting over a cold. How was your guys' week last week? I hope you had a great Christmas. I hope you're going to have a great New Year. I took last week off uh, for obvious reasons. It's around Christmas time. We were visiting family. And, um, well, this is last weekend. I've been sick <sighs> all weekend. I'm still feeling a little under the weather, but I'm feeling good enough to make a show. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Happy Monday to you, and we're going to start off in the Philippines. Apparently the Philippine cobra, as well as 12 other snakes, has been added to the species uh, threatened snakes list. Now there's several factors that, that, that go into uh, listing these animals on this list, and then they have other um, subcategories, I guess you can say, uh, lightly threatened, highly threatened, critically threatened, so on and so forth. Scientists there say that they expect the species because of critically um, screwed up, but that's the best way we could say it, critically screwed up habitat throughout their entire range. They expect it to go from the threatened list to the endangered list very soon. Now we're going to move to an area that we just love so very much. One of our favorite states in the nation, a state that's uh, leading the uh, invasive species threat, Florida. Apparently a family uh, out on a picnic had found a 17 foot long Burmese python. Now I would not have believed it unless I saw it and I did see it. There's a video on the website, check it out. They did in fact find a 17 foot long Burmese python out in the wild in Florida. A uh, park ranger came along and killed it and again, you know, I'm kind of, I'm at a toss up about this whole thing because I don't like seeing snakes get killed. I've said this a million times before. I don't like seeing them get killed, but at the same time, I don't want Burmese pythons in my country. They do not belong in my country in the wild. They belong in our households as pets, but not in the wild in our country. So, I mean, it's kind of a toss up. They killed the snake, 17 foot long Burmese python in Florida. And now let's move on to other large constrictor threats, at least threats to our hobby, and that's North Carolina. Now I know I'm gonna pronounce this wrong, Forsyth, Forsyth County, whatever, North Carolina apparently is looking into banning large constrictors. Now they do say that four species of python as well as the green anaconda are on this list. And this is apparently due to a recommendation from the county's Animal Control Advisory Board. Now go figure as well on this list of animals that the advisory board wants banned is the reticulated python and the African rock python. Now a ban would have to be enacted in the end by the county board of commissioners so everybody in North Carolina, everybody across the country, everybody across the globe is urged to contact the Board of Commissioners there and uh, tell them how you feel about this, but be respectful as always. And that, my friends, has been all your news for this Monday. If you'd like to read any more about these stories, that link's right down below here in the description. And as always, if you're still watching, my name is Jason White. Now you know what's going on in the reptile world. Be good to each other and we'll see you next time.